Alright guys, how you doing? And welcome to the Pants and Judy Show! <laughs> as you can see, I mean, <laughs> I mean as you can hear, I'm speaking in English. And actually this is a direct challenge from one of our subscriber, which is also my friend. And that is Potato Rider which is now living in Canada I don't know where in Canada but somewhere in Canada <laughs> This is the first time that I'll be speaking in English in my vlog It's kinda awkward but bear with me This is a challenge so just like what I said from the first episode, we will talk about everything under the sun. If you want me to talk about something, then just comment below, my god! My God, get, did you see that? Gusto mo magtagalog? Tagalang, wait! Did you see that? That car just stopped in the middle of the road. Oh my God! Ah, what the F? That's why I don't like speaking in English. My concentration is divided. My God, but I think that's that car's fault. Why did he stop in the middle of the road? Yeah, I got out of control. Do you see that? Huh? What about I think my rear wheel, when I hit the brakes, I was on the tar part. Like, those rubbery part on the road it wasn't a tar part so that's very slippery so my wheel just you know, got out of control it's just go beeping like like this you know <sighs> I almost got on an accident if that's the real if that's the correct English for it <laughs> uh, honestly guys my my heart is beating so fast. Oh my god. And I'm not even that fast. I know if you saw my... I don't know if you saw my odometer. Is probably I'm just in 65 there. I don't know what's wrong with, with that car. I'm just glad that I still was able to control the motorcycle. But, uh, that was close guys, that was very very close. Ah, I'm glad OBR Judy is not with me. I'm sure she will freak out. I'm freaked out, actually. Ah, at least we have something to talk about, right? Why? Why do you stop in the middle of the road, right? Why you do that? If you're, you know, if you're in doubt of the path that you're taking, for example, you need to stop. You're almost on your destination and you don't know where exactly is your destination. Maybe stay right. Stay right now. Then slow down so that you will not miss your destination. Not like that. He's in the middle of the road, and then he, when when he's at his destination, maybe he got surprised that that's already their destination. He just stopped and then just go straight right. Right. <sighs> Be, be mindful not because you're 
not because your signal light is lit up you're exempted on those kinds of uh, stupidity but speaking in English is kind of awkward although I'm I'm somehow used to speaking in English because I'm a call center agent call center oh yeah let's uh, I would like to introduce to you to the challenger of this episode which is potato rider I don't know if you noticed but almost every video that I uploaded it there it's he's my most loyal watcher and subscriber even always leaving a comment on each video but you know what he's the one that introduced the long ride uh, long ride yeah long ride so i bought a motorcycle specifically just for commuting because it's too much traffic i already mentioned that on my first episode but i never knew i never knew that you can actually go to bases i know you can but i don't know that you can go so far with a motorcycle we also ride we also get the more looper in you would just ride your motorcycle for the whole northern part of the city that's around 1500 to 1600 kilometers that's a lot for a motorcycle and i never knew that you can do that and this guy, Potato Rider, is the one that introduced me to that kind of adventure, you know. Our first ride is, uh, I think it's Sapampalay, Ang Gatdam. It's either Ang Gatdam or Marilake. That's our first ride, Marilake. I was so freaked out during that day. I don't know how to do banking, banking. I believe we're in Marilake, our speed there is just at least 40 or 50 kilometers and when in the corridors at least 30 that's okay during that time there's not much riders there we're the only ones riding a motorcycle not even cars are going there before it was at least uh, six years ago and yeah this guy this guy is the one that introduced me to those kinds of adventure and um, so I owe it to him that I was able to awaken my passion in long rides alright we're here in Batasana and so far my English skills are I'm, I'm amazed I thought I would be out of words but I'm good I'm good He's the one who encouraged me to to do video vlogging on YouTube. This sayang eh. I mean, I uh, know, sayang. Um, ano ba? Ano ba English na sayang? So I just don't want the videos to go to waste. I like, you know, filming our trip even before even I do vlogging. I like filming, I like uh, taking pictures on each of our every ride. So he said, why don't you upload it on YouTube? Maybe you'll get famous and you'll get paid. And yeah, why not? He, said, uh, he started it actually. He just wanted, he just wanted to share you know, the, the fun, the experience itself. So we decided to film every ride and right now here we are we have our channel and yeah again don't do what that stupid car did all right <laughs> okay this is the part we're in we will test the top speed again but no we don't want to right now We are 
are almost at our destination. So, thank you for staying and listening to my English speaking skills. I hope you understand me. I hope you understood me. I I want I don't know past tense, present tense. But I hope you enjoyed it. No, potato right there. Oh, here's your challenge. So thank you for giving me a topic for this episode. All right, so we're here in San Mateo, and I'm almost at my destination. And thank you, thank you so much for being here with me. Again, to our next ah, travel, diba? Wait, wait, I'm going to <laughs> translate my outro in English. All right, so. Thank you and um, till our next ride, till our next food trip. Again, ride safe and travel safe. Bye bye.